people of the internet, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be testing color changing lipsticks, which is like kind of a cool thing in makeup right now. And I was actually sent some of these through Octoly and I will have a link that you can sign up if you want. It's basically a website where you can get free stuff to review. So yeah, I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys today, doing lip swatches of all of the four colors that I got, and giving you guys just my honest opinion and impression on these lipsticks. So yeah, if you want to see these lipsticks, then go ahead and keep on watching, but make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you never miss out on a cool video like this one. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, these lipsticks are from Mood Matcher. They claim to be 12 hour, long lasting, and color changing. So um, they have moisturizing benefits of aloe and vitamin E. I'm not saying that any of these claims are true. We're about to put that to the test. And it also says you can eat, drink, smooch, and smile without smudging, feathering, bleeding, or fading, and it's waterproof. And it says for best results, wait two minutes for your Mood Matcher lipstick color to reach its peak of personalized color, then you're ready to eat, drink, and kiss without smudging or fading. So I have four colors here today. I have brown, dark blue, black, and light blue, and we're just gonna go ahead and do these on my lips. I am gonna leave the color on my lips for two minutes because that's what it says for to get your like peak of color. And then we are going to do a kiss test. I'm gonna kiss the back of my hand, and we're gonna see if I do get transfer, and then we're gonna wipe it away and see if it like stains my lips or something like that. So yeah, we're gonna start out with the brown. But it is kind of more like a pinky tone now you can see where it goes on brown and then it changes I do feel those like moisturizing qualities that it was talking about I really like this color like it's so pretty but I am gonna set a timer and we'll see how it looks after two minutes okay this is the color after two minutes I'm actually really pleased I think it's really flattering and I definitely don't really detect like the brown in there that I first saw when I applied the lipstick so let me just do the kiss test to see if it's going to transfer yeah definitely some transfer there which is fine but I just don't think that you should advertise that it is kiss proof and all of that when it's definitely not. So I'm just gonna take this color off and see if it stains and then we'll move on to the next color. Okay, my lips are a little bit stained but it's really nothing major. It's only kind of where my lips are really dry and cracked like my bottom lip. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the black and this is supposed to turn into like a purple shade. So let's see how it goes. Okay, first thing, this color goes on really sheer. Like, can y'all even tell that I put any on yet? I'm trying to build it up a little bit more. Oh, I can already see my lip like staining. Can y'all see that? <laughs> Sorry, that was an awkward face, but this one definitely hasn't like instantly changed. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. Very black, like sheer weirdness going on. So Set a timer for two minutes and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the black color after two minutes. According to the picture, it is supposed to be purple, which yes, I see the purple, but I do have some like patchy areas where it is like black showing through like right on my upper lip, y'all can see. This is just too patchy for me to actually want to wear out because the color just looks really uneven and I just can't imagine myself wearing this. Oh, wow, that was a lot of kiss residue. Bottoms of my teeth are getting a little bit like pinky. Let me wipe this off before my all of my teeth get pink or purple or whatever. Holy stain, look at my lips. Because if I did wanna like put something else on top of this, it's just gonna be hard. And oh my gosh, my teeth keep getting like pinker and pinker as I talk. Okay, now we're gonna try the dark blue, which is supposed to be a little bit lighter of a purple. Definitely goes on dark blue. You can still see like residue of where the other lipstick like stain was. I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes and I'll come back and show you guys what this color looks like. Okay, so this is the dark blue after it has set for two minutes. It's definitely purple, but I do feel like the blue is sticking to little patches 
of like dry areas of my mouth. No matter how hard I try to be precise, these colors are just so sheer that my lines just don't look nice and clean, which really bugs me because I hate when my lipstick looks like a mess. Yep, transfer, transfer, transfer. So I have one last color. I'm gonna take this one off, see how terrible the stain is, and then move on. Lastly, we have light blue, which is supposed to be a lighter purple. So let's put this on, see how it goes. This one, I can definitely see more of a change when I put it on. How it goes on light blue and then it transforms into the other color. I'm gonna set my two minute timer and we're gonna see how this looks. Okay, so this is the light blue. It's not bad, but as you could tell in the close up, again, it was sticking to all the patches on my dry skin. And you can still see like a sheer layer of blue. So, kiss test. Yep, we got some transfer. So let's go ahead and wipe this baby off and then I'll finish up with my final thoughts. My first thought, holy <laughs> my lips are stained. <laughs> these are like a cool little gimmick, but personally I would never buy these to use. The only one that I could see myself purchasing is this brown. I think this is like the saving grace of this video because it turned out so beautifully in nude. It didn't really stain my lips. And that was honestly the only one that I really liked and I really hate saying that because I always feel really bad when companies send me stuff and I don't really like them. So I mean you guys can go ahead and test this product out for yourself. You can use the promo code MMFALL20 to get 20% off the whole website. If you do want to buy one of these lipsticks, I definitely recommend getting the brown one if you do want to. Again, sign up for Octoly if you want. I'll have the link to this product and Octoly down below. If you sign up using my link, you can get like 5 reward points or something. So yeah, and you can redeem those for Sephora gift cards and stuff. And that's pretty cool, but that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this like kind of video. And I used the Kylie Holiday palette on my lids today. And I will be doing a tutorial on this look and a review and impressions on the Kylie Holiday palette up on Friday. So be sure to look out for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.